Can another person take charge of the property or business of another person without the owner's consent or authority? In today's video, we will be discussing an important concept in civil law that answers the earlier posted question. If you like to know, watch this short video discussion and subscribe for more useful information. Comment your legal questions and we will answer. Is there a contract that occurs when someone manages the business without the authority of the other? What type of contract then? Yes, it is called a quasi-contract and is governed by Article 2144 of the New Civil Code, NCC. Negotiarum gestio takes place when a person voluntarily takes charge of another's abandoned business or property without the owner's authority, Article 2144, NCC. As a rule, reimbursement must be made to the guestor, i.e., one who carried out the business, for necessary and useful expenses. Requisites. 1. Person voluntary takes charge of. 2. The agency or management of a business or property belonging to another. 3. Property or business is neglected or abandoned. And. 4. Manager has not been tacitly authorized by the owner. The obligation does not arise. a. When the property or business is not neglected or abandoned. b. If in fact the manager has been tacitly authorized by the owner. What is the obligation of the guestor? The person who manages the business of another. The officious manager must perform his duties with all the diligence of a good father of a family. He must pay the damages which through his fault and negligence may be suffered by the owner of the property business under his management. The courts may, however, increase or moderate the indemnity according to the circumstances of each case. Article 2145, NCC. What is the obligation of the owner of the property or business owner? Although the management was not expressly ratified, the owner who enjoys the advantages of the same shall 1. Be liable for the obligations incurred in his interest. 2. Reimburse the guestor for the necessary and useful expenses and for the damages the latter may have suffered in the performance of his duties. The above obligations shall be incumbent upon the owner if the management had for its purpose the prevention of an imminent and manifest loss, although no benefit may have been derived. Article 2150, NCC. The owner would still be liable, even if the owner did not derive any benefit and there was no imminent and manifest danger to the property or business, provided 1. The guestor has acted in good faith, and 2. The property or business is intact, ready to be returned to the owner. Article 2151, NCC. When does the extinguishment of management occur? 1. When the owner repudiates or puts an end thereto. 2. When the guestor withdraws from the management, subject to Art. 2144. 3. By the death, civil interdiction, insanity or insolvency of the owner or the guestor. Article 2153, NCC. Bar exam question. Armando owns a row of residential apartments in San Juan, Metro Manila, which he rents out to tenants. On the 1st of April 1991 he left for the United States without appointing any administrator to manage his apartment such that uncollected rentals accumulated for three, three, years. Amparo, a niece of Armando, concerned with the interest of her uncle, took it upon herself to administer the property. As a consequence, she incurred expenses in collecting the rents and in some instances even spent for necessary repairs to preserve the property. 1. What juridical relation between Amparo and Armando, if any, has resulted from Amparo's unilateral act of assuming the administration of Armando's apartments? Explain. Answer. Negotiarum gestio existed between Amparo and Armando. She voluntarily took charge of the agency or management of the business or property of her uncle without any power from her uncle whose property was neglected. She is called the guestor negotiarum or officious manager. Article 2144, NCC. 2. What rights and obligations, if any, does Amparo have under the circumstances? Explain. 1995 Bar. 
The courts may, however, increase or moderate the indemnity according to the circumstances of each case. Art. 2146. If the officious manager delegates to another person all or some of his duties, he shall be liable for the acts of the delegate, without prejudice to the direct obligation of the latter toward the owner of the business. The responsibility of two or more officious managers shall be solidary, unless management was assumed to save the thing or business from imminent danger. Art. 2147. The officious manager shall be liable for any fortuitous event. 1. If he undertakes risky operations which the owner was not accustomed to embark upon. 2. If he has preferred his own interest to that of the owner. 3. If he fails to return the property or business after demand by the owner. 4. If he assumed the management in bad faith. Art. 2148. Except when the management was assumed to save the property or business from imminent danger, the officious manager shall be liable for fortuitous events. 1. If he is manifestly unfit to carry on the management. 2. If by his intervention he prevented a more competent person from taking up the management. Art. 2149. The ratification of the management by the owner of the business produces the effects of an express agency. Even if the business may not have been successful. Art. 2150. Although the officious management may not have been expressly ratified, the owner of the property or business who enjoys the advantages of the same shall be liable for obligations incurred in his interest, and shall reimburse the officious manager for the necessary and useful expenses and for the damages which the latter may have suffered in the performance of his duties. The same obligation shall be incumbent upon him when the management had for its purpose the prevention of an imminent and manifest loss, although benefit may have been derived. Art. 2151. Even though the owner did not derive any benefit and there has been no imminent and manifest danger to the property or business, the owner is liable as under the first paragraph of the preceding article, provided 1. The officious manager has acted in good faith, and 2. The property or business is intact, ready to be returned to the owner. Art. 2152. The officious manager is personally liable for contracts which he has entered into with third persons, even though he acted in the name of the owner, and there shall be no right of action between the owner and third persons. These provisions shall not apply. 1. If the owner has expressly or tacitly ratified the management, or 2. When the contract refers to things pertaining to the owner of the business. I hope you learned something new today. Comment your questions and we will answer them. Sources used QUAMTO and UP Law Reviewer 2020. For more useful information about the Philippine law and jurisprudence, subscribe to this channel. <laughs>